I'm Laura. I've been traveling internationally for many years, ever since my husband and I lived in England when our kids were four and seven back in 2003 and 2004. We got the travel bug then and we've been traveling ever since. And we learned that souvenirs and memorable things can be a waste of money or they can be something that is a great reminder of your trip forever and ever. with you that I love bringing home from a trip and snacking on during the trip is chocolate. Now you might say, Laura, chocolate's going to melt. It's going to get all over the place. That is true. If you buy big bars of chocolate, they are probably going to melt or they're going to get broken in your suitcase. So my tip is always buy small pieces of chocolate. The next one is hats. Love getting hats when I'm traveling. So whether it's a souvenir hat like Mount Pilatus or Barcelona or Switzerland or just a floppy hat that I get at a truck stop in France. Hats are so fun because they don't necessarily, aren't necessarily something I want to pack when I travel somewhere, but I love wearing them while I'm in a country and then I can usually pack it somehow to come home as a souvenir. This one is a little controversial because if you're like me, maybe you lose things, but I buy earrings. Now you might like to buy rings or necklaces. So I got these in Greece. They have the Greek key on them and I don't spend a lot of money and I try to buy from like local artisans um, or, you know, just anything that would remind me of that particular place. So I have an extensive collection of olive oil from various places. Most I would say would be Italy because Italy and olive oil, but I have some from Greece. I have some from Spain. I bought some little samples and guys, I have to be honest, these are empty now, but the containers are so cute and they look pretty when I put them on the countertop and arrange them nicely. My only mistake was that I bought a local brand. You can see this is peeling off. It's metal, so it did get ruined in my suitcase. Okay, wine. Everyone wants to bring wine home, and I think that is a great idea. I have to be honest, I have no bottles left. It's been two years, we've had a pandemic, I haven't been able to travel. The one bottle I have left is from France. It's just been saved, it's empty, but I didn't have the heart to throw the bottle away. I always buy these in grocery stores unless I happen to be at a vineyard. And of course, then I definitely want to buy what they are selling there. So this is just grocery store wine. It was not expensive. It's super fun to break that out with some of the friends that you've been with trips on or if you just want to have a memory or celebrate something. Okay, I've tried packing wine a lot of different ways. I've gotten what they call wine diapers, which is special bubble wrap. I've bought regular bubble wrap. But I have found that truly the best way to bring your wine home is to just wrap it in your dirty clothes or your clean ones if you still have clean clothes left. I make sure that I send it on the plane as checked baggage. So I don't keep it in my carry-on because liquids, right? One fun thing to do is to pick up things that you're needing or wanting anyway when you're on your trip. I found these Birkenstocks in Germany for only $65. Okay, next up, stickers. <laughs> so stickers and patches and the occasional shot glass. They are all such fun, small ways to keep memories alive of some of the trips that you've taken. This one is for all you crafty people out there. Save your receipts, save your entrances into museums, save your tube cards. They make a really fun collage. One of the things that I always do is I always kind of find some random things, random, that I like to save and just put around my house somewhere. So for example, when I was in Prague, I noticed that a really you know, popular thing was crystal and glassware like this. So I went ahead and bought this. It sits on one of my bookshelves. I had to buy a cowbell in Switzerland. I could not find one that didn't look super touristy, but you know what? I love my bell. Pro tip for what you can do when you found that maybe you've 
bought a few too many souvenirs to bring home is always pack an extra bag that you can ship home to put your laundry in or something. So this is one that folds into itself. These are real popular. You can find them in backpack style. And guys, it is huge. Look at this thing, it is huge. So you can put your laundry in here. You can put your extra souvenirs in here. However you wanna do it, just know that having that extra bag is really helpful. One thing you can remember is that when you get home and you have all of these photos on your camera is to go ahead and take the time to make a photo book. There are so many places that you can get these, whether it's, you know, it can be Google Photos, it can just be a Facebook photo book. Having a book form is really nice because you know you're never going to lose them and here it is all the time. And it's fun to share with people. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, stay tuned for our next adventure and remember, enjoy the journey. I forgot to mention